everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Entertainment Junction here in Westchester, Ohio. My channel seems to be getting very sad lately because everything that I've been going to and documenting has been something that's closing. Well, unfortunately, Entertainment Junction is on the chopping block. It's going to be closing in January of 2025. So if you're watching this video before then, make it out to Entertainment Junction and support the place because it's awesome. It's the world's largest train display. So let's go check it out on today's episode. Let's go. So I have been to Entertainment Junction before. Uh, first time I went was somewhere back around 2010 when I was living still in Michigan. And then the second time was around 2019. And I did film the place, but my footage was just so bad. So that's why I wanted to do a, a revisit here. But we're gonna check out some of the outside stuff first. So I don't know if they run this anymore, but there's actually a small little ride on train that you can, uh, go on that goes kind of around the outside of the building and I haven't seen it operate for a number of years but I do remember when I first came here back around 2010 it was operating and you could see all the little buildings here for it to kind of make it look like you're going through a town it's really really pretty neat that the uh world's largest train exhibit would actually have an outside train and I wish it was running so I could show you it. And I am visiting here on a Saturday and I have never seen it this busy. I mean, there are some spaces that are empty, but look at how full the parking lot is. I mean, it's full all the way down to the end and then the parking lot wraps around the side and it's full over there too. Crazy old ladies joining us on this episode, and it's so great. She's gonna experience some choo choo trains. I don't know why I said choo choo trains. It's me. Peekaboo. Now you can say your line. What line? Let's do it, finally. Yeah. All right, you can see they're doing Christmas in July. Do it all for only $22.95. All right, so this is the main entrance to Entertainment Junction. You've got a gift shop. You've got the cafe. You've also got a full-on hobby store. And I think today they're actually having a toy sale. And we're going to check out all of the, uh, the store-related stuff first, just in case they decide to close a little bit earlier than the rest of the place. You can see, look at all the toys they have. Oh my gosh, I remember these. And I always wanted one of them, but they were so expensive, like the Brio train sets. Oh, this is so great. So here is a map of the place. It is very large. Of course, being the world's largest train exhibit, it has to be large. Wow. Okay, heading on into the Junction Hobbies and Toys. Oh man, there's a lot of screaming kids here today. Ugh. Oh, look at all the Brios, the Brio sets up there. I know these aren't Brio branded probably, but that is so great. Yeah, no, they are Brio branded. Yeah, look, and Brio is so expensive and that's why I never had it. Because what, what do they want for like just this little tiny bell thing? $12.99. That's $19.99 for the, the turntable. Here's one of the 10 bucks for a, uh, a vehicle. When you can buy Matchbox cars for like a dollar something. <laughs> right now I'm dealing with a really, really bad virus. So if my voice sounds kind of stupid, I'm sorry. You'll have to excuse it. I'll get over it and things will go back to normal. However, if you want to hear all of the original commentary from when I went through Entertainment Junction, you'll be able to find that eventually over on any of my memberships, either the YouTube membership or the Patreon membership. There'll be links at the end of the video or down in the description box below. 
So here's my thoughts on the hobby store, and I wouldn't really call it a hobby store because it's more focused on toys than it is hobbies. Uh, and I kind of understand why, because Entertainment Junction is a family place where you'd bring your kids, and if coming into the hobby store, your kids are going to want toys, not expensive RC cars or HO model scale railroad stuff. However, I would have liked to see them focus more on actual hobbies. You know, like a Hobby Town USA just on steroids. And you can see when you uh, go to get your tickets, it's just like you're at an actual train station where you go up to the ticket window. That is pretty cool. All right, heading into Entertainment Junction to check out all of the awesome model railroads. And of course, they have all these buttons in here that are red. And if you push them, it'll activate all of the uh, animatronics or some of the trains will start moving. Or, in the case of this one, it's just sawmill sounds. Located in Westchester, Ohio, a suburb of Cincinnati, Entertainment Junction owners Don Oders was a successful businessman and train hobby enthusiast. He had an idea that would eventually turn into the world's biggest model train layout in the country. Along with Bruce Robbins, a local architect, they would take Don's ideas and develop concept drawings that would bring his ideas to life in what could only be described as an indoor theme park. So Don would quickly decide to move forward on his project and create this major attraction. The attraction would be home to the world's largest model train display, which would take you on a virtual train journey, starting out with the early days of railroading, taking you all the way through to the modern days of railroading. Additionally, it would include an indoor kids' playground, a railroad museum, as well as a gift shop, hobby shop, snack bar, and private rooms for birthday parties and events. An old-style funhouse would eventually be added to the concept later on, giving the place an even bigger feeling of being inside an amusement park. Don's dream was simple. He wanted to make it about the history of railroading and have it be interactive, and so in early 2007, construction would begin. Construction would be led by Larry Cole of the Greater Cincinnati Garden Railway Club and Miami Valley Club, along with many other volunteers. They would plan the train displays and begin to lay track, construct mountains, and build miniatures. After a hectic year of construction, Entertainment Junction would open in August of 2008. Don wanted to develop a world-class museum, and so he would enlist the help of Dan and Ruth Britt of Hamilton, Ohio. They would be able to take mountains of information to create interactive and educational displays that would be enjoyed by everyone. Today, Entertainment Junction continues to be a dream come true for the whole family. From children to railroad aficionados, Don continually upgrades the attraction with new additions including new structures and train controls. And unfortunately, like I said earlier in the video, this is all going to come to an end, unfortunately, in January of 2025. So time is running out. So this looks like it's a uh, imagination junction, which is like a children's play area. Gosh, they have a Thomas 
and Friends layout. Supposedly you push the button and it activates it, but I, I didn't see it. Oh, there it goes. Whoa, it's getting away. Oh, it's purple too. Wow, just look at all the Thomas and Friends memorabilia here. I mean, I'm not into that, obviously, because I'm an adult now, but holy crap. Okay, so this is the official Guinness World Book of Records attempt, I guess, at what? The most, most Thomas the Tank Engines collection or something? Yeah, the world's largest Thomas and Friends collection. So here you can see all of the different scales that they have of trains. And they do actually have a train ride. I don't know if it's running today. That was the thing we were looking at outside. Oh my gosh, there is a radio tower up there that looks just like the WLW tower, which is down the street. Here we have the American Railroading Museum, where you can learn all about the history of trains. You know, I can't be uh, too detailed on this or the uh, video would be hours long. So I'm gonna try and be somewhat detailed, but not too much because you know, this place is closing. So it's not like you'll be able to come visit it for yourself, you know, after 2025 January. Oh, it looks like we got some steam tractors here. And then there's a steam roller. Well, there is something I didn't expect to see. The Fox Theater from Detroit on Woodward Avenue. I grew up with that place, and that is a cool sight to see. 
What's that doing here in Cincinnati? So this is where you would go for the train ride. Unfortunately, today it is actually closed. Okay, so I think it's just closed at this p time of the day. Okay, we're gonna head upstairs to the scenic overlook. This is my favorite part of the place, Coney Island. No, not that Coney Island, the one in Cincinnati, the real Coney Island, because the one in New York really isn't actually called Coney Island. And this is what Coney Island used to look like back in the day, or, you know, similar to that. You got Lake Como's and all of the awesome rides, the racers in the background, which I do believe that is pro um, an accurate replica. So here's a look inside the repair shop as well as the control room and it is impressive like wow. I do have um, a bit of knowledge regarding the operation of model railroads like this because um, my dad belonged to a model railroad club and we had all the, the DCC and you know all the wireless stuff and it was pretty cool. Okay, you'll notice in here that to make it more authentic and realistic, it goes from daytime to nighttime. So you have, even has dawn and dusk in there. Because right now it's kind of uh, like dawn. We're going to head on into the modern period of railroading, present day. 1970s to present. Sorry if it's grainy, it's not very uh, light in here. Here in the, tr the Great Train Expo, we have the Marble Collection. It's a marvelous collection. Wow, look at all the marbles. Oh my goodness. Wow. I don't even know they got so big. Wow. Oh, these are cool, the black ones. Presidential barbels. Oh wow. Obama's in there, Trump is in there too. 
that's kind of funny. Bush, Trump, Bill Clinton. Biden's not in there. He doesn't deserve to be in there. <laughs> Don't put that on. The marble matic holds and picks up marbles, huh? So here are some interesting facts if you want to pause the video to read that. These are also some of the celebrities that are fans of model railroading. Uh, that's pretty cool. They have the Dent Schoolhouse, which is the haunted attraction in uh, Dent, Ohio in Cincinnati area. gift shop we go oh yes exactly where I wanted to end up because I wanted to check out all of the stuff that they had in here a lot of good DVDs all about trains and a lot of books about trains now look at the shirts that they have some of those are pretty cool Oh, I like the orange one. Oh, my magnets. I'm getting some. So I believe all the stuff over here is more for if you're having parties. And these are kind of like the rooms that you would, you know, have your parties in. All right, it's time to check out the Junction Cafe. Oh man, they got mac and cheese bites, nachos and cheese. Oh, they got some really good hamburgers, cheeseburgers, chicken nuggets, hot dogs. Got a really good menu. Prices aren't really too bad. 
<laughs> I didn't even notice this when I was standing up here. That's kind of cool. Full plug for service. Yeah. Well, what are the cookies? They look good. Harder than that. Here? Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, so hot dog review time. Uh-uh, I'm too busy eating. Man, these are good. I haven't had a hot dog like this since I went to the ballpark in Detroit. You mean Michigan? Hot dogs like Kogel's? No. Hot dogs that you get at the ballpark. Since when did you go to baseball games? You don't like sports. I've been there several times. Ew. To watch the Tigers play? Ew. Sure. No, you. Boring. No. <laughs> You go and you watch people. Screw the game. Yeah, exactly. You watch people and you eat all the popcorn and all the hot dogs. And yeah, sports sucks. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yes. Mac and cheese bites. Oh, man. Mac and cheese bites. They're very hot, so I can't try them at the moment, guys. Look, Look at those. They're going to bite your tongue. It's gooey. Awesome. Thanks. You're very good. Nachos and cheese. I can eat this right now. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. Oh, yes. You need a lot of cheese. I know you need a lot of cheese. Yummy. Okay, so here's the nachos with cheese. Mmm. They're good. They're good. Mm hmm. Cheese has a bite to it. You know, they're not anything spectacular because they're just Tostitos and want? some fake liquid cheese, but they are good. They don't compare to the Greenville Village ones I had the other day though okay let's try out the uh the mac and cheese bites now that they might be a little cooler mm. mac and cheese bites are awesome i think it's craft mac and cheese in there and that's why they're awesome because I'm a little kid now. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, that whole entire, whatever that was, was just weird. And I mean weird. <laughs> I don't think I've ever experienced anything so weird in my life. It was almost stupid it was that weird. Entertainment Junction was awesome. 
not one of those places that you would want to frequent very often, not only for the expense, because it costs the two of us about $30, 30, 36 or something like that to get in to Entertainment Junction, um, but also for the fact that it would get kind of old and tired if you did it too often. But definitely a place you could come and visit every now and then, and it's so yep. cool. I'm so sad to see this place go. And maybe someone, maybe someone can take it over, but it's doubtful. Um, I don't to know. Tear the layout down would be massive, and the money that they put into that layout. Yep. Unbelievable. I know. It's such a cool place. So yeah. if it's before January of 2025, check out Entertainment Junction. Absolutely. And if it's after January of 2025, I'm so sorry you missed it. Well, you can check out more of my awesome content on all of my links. They'll be on screen and in the description box below for my channel memberships. And I will see you guys on another episode. Bye. Bye.